So this is going to be the daily for Thursday. So Thursday, <clears throat> I believe it's the 15th, right, um, of September. Starting off with fire signs. Um, Aries. Aries. It, it's going to feel kind of like a, a day where you're feeling like you're just repeating history. It's going to feel like it's repetitious. Aries, you're, upon waking up even, you're not going to have a lot of um, stamina or not a lot of excitement for the day. It's kind of like losing faith or losing hope in a situation. For some of you, Aries, as you go through your day, you're going to find things to actually open you up, make you realize that it's not as bad as you think. There's something that's going to come to fruition for you, something that you've been hoping for. So... Just when you're believing that there's no light at the end of the tunnel, you're actually going to get a light. All right. Leo. Leo, for today, it's kind of like um, you're counting the moments or counting the days or there's something coming up. So you're anticipating that event or you're anticip anticipating that date. There's something where it's like, oh, it's almost over. Or the good time's almost over or it's almost time to go back to work or it's almost time to do something. So it's like hard work is going to be required from you, but I feel like you're up to it. I feel like you can do it. I feel like there's um, a lot of energy within you. There's also so much balance now that you've created and you've been able to <clears throat> show yourself or prove to yourself that you have more strength than you ever knew. Uh, also know that friends are going to be around and near. Um, but be careful. Pick and choose your friends carefully. And as far as pets or animal goes, animals go, if you already have a pet, great. If you don't, please don't add any more right now to the fire. Wait till next year. There's some things that you need to get back in balance at home first before you try to take on a pet or an animal. Right now, you need to just focus on taking care of you and yourself. All right. Sagittarius. Sagis, it's like um, a hit or miss, a hit or miss. So it's it's hard to know which way it's going to go for you. Right now I'm hearing the word maybe. So whatever it is that you're contemplating or whatever it is you're thinking about or wanting to move uh, into the direction of or you're wanting to take a step or a leap forward, I'm hearing maybe. So reinvestigate something, reevaluate something. Be sure that this is your goal or this is your desire, that you do want to go to this particular place or to this situation. You want to deal with that. Um, opening up a can of worms may not be a good idea today. All right. That is fire signs. Air signs. Gemini. <clears throat> Gemini. There's a lot to talk about. And it seems like there's a lot of gossip around. Whatever is going on or whatever is going on either you're talking about or somebody else is talking about, just know that you're not getting all the details. You don't have all the facts. You have what people want you to know. You don't have the ex exact truth. You need to do the investigation. You need to figure out what the heck's really going on here because somebody is trying to make judgment or pass judgment. And they want everybody else to go along with that, even though that's not the truth. The person who's creating all this problem or drama is somebody who's very insecure and somebody who's trying to get attention for themselves. If you know what this means, let me know in the comments below. Libra, I missed you the other day, but Libra, I'm not missing you completely. Libra, you know what? You're tired of the things that happened in the past, but you're wanting to move forward. You're also wanting to open up a new door or a new opportunity. It also feels like, Libras, you're definitely missing somebody or wanting somebody to come closer to you and to communicate. At the same time, you feel like there's a challenge for you with this person, Libra, because it feels like you just don't know how they feel about you anymore. There's something that you're doubting. It's also wondering if you do need to make the changes. Some Libras are not taking that into accountability or taking the responsibility that they do need to make some changes in order for things to get better. So Libras, please consider getting back on track and making changes, okay? Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, I don't know if it's if you're dealing, if you're dealing cards, if you're playing cards, if you're gambling, if you're traveling, but there's a lot of movement going on for you right now. It's almost like you can't sit still. It's like you, maybe you're not even sleeping a lot of hours. You might be sleeping till three or four in the morning and you're waking up and then getting started. It's like you don't know how to rest or you, or you forgot how to rest. It's because you just go, 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 go. You are being told by spirit to slow down, take your time and smell the coffee, smell the flowers. You need to rest. You need to make yourself just sit down, watch a movie, and relax because you haven't relaxed for quite a while. 
You've been doing for a lot of other people. It's time to start doing for yourself, Aquarius. Cancer. <clears throat> Cancer, there seems to be um, a little bit of just like not being sure of your ground, not being sure of the foundation, not being sure if this relationship is working out or not being sure if you have what it takes to get through something. You're also having doubts about somebody else's behaviors or somebody else's mannerism. You're not sure how somebody's feeling about you. Therefore, you're kind of sabotaging it. You're like, well, I don't think they care. I don't think it's not that, but this person is not expressive as you. This person really doesn't know how to explain explain to you how you make them feel but this person feels like they are genuinely giving you good vibes for the most part but i don't feel like that they're communicating or talking to you as often as you'd like them to i feel like they take their time to text you back it's almost like they're not making a priority right now and that's okay because you need to make yourself a priority right now all right pisces pisces right now we're talking about longevity we're talking about survival we're, we're talking about structure we're talking about struggling we're talking about getting over something from the past and not looking back we're talking about you continually look in your rearview mirror instead of looking at the front windshield which is even bigger things that already happened in the past you have no control over you can't change you can't do anything about but move forward and not repeat such patterns later there is going to be an opportunity of something knocking on your door, so to speak, whether it's a new job, whether it's a new relationship. But this is about to happen in the month of either the end of September or beginning of October. Scorpios. Scorpios. Scorpios, you've surrounded yourself with a lot of family or a lot of friends. You've also put a lot of church or a lot of God into your your life or your routines right now. But I'm also feeling like Scorpios, you know, there's something that's still feeling a little bit off about you. There's also um, fighting with yourself about the past versus the future. Some of you are trying to bring your past into the future and you can't. You just can't. For some of you, it really is time to let something go. It's been a struggle. It's been hard. You've put in so much effort and so much time, but honestly, Scorpio, it's really time to just let it go. And if that person wants to make the changes and come toward you, then that's beautiful. But if that person doesn't make the effort, doesn't take the actions, then you need to let something go, okay? That's just the way it is. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, um, put one foot in front of the other. You don't know how to get started and you don't know what to do first, but it's kind of like just, you know what, line your ducks up. Okay, this is, you got to prioritize. For some of you Capricorns, you got to separate your pros from your cons. What's good about it, what's bad about it, and then make a decision from there. Some of you are trying to make something that's not working or hasn't worked. You're trying to make it have life and come to life. You're trying to make somebody come towards you who's not willing to do so or wanting to do so. So renegotiate your own thoughts right now and decide, you know what, what it is that you want. Because if you ask yourself, is this person... <clears throat> going to give me what I want and what I need is this person going to bring some joy to my life or are they going to bring hassle and are they going to bring arguments are they going to bring like a disheveledness kind of thing about you um, yeah they're not going to bring light they're bringing darkness they're bringing problems they're bringing drama so be careful what you ask for Taurus Taurus for a lot of you it's either taking walks, exercising, jogging, changing your eating habits. It's also about trying to get near water, trying to do a lot of meditation. For some of you Tauruses, it's about talking to a family member and opening up about something that happened a long, long time ago, something you never told anybody. There's also some issue here with Taurus about being in a third party situation. If that's you, it's time to let something go. You, you, you got this relationship under false pretenses. It, it's not what you thought it was or what they tried to make you believe it was, okay? so. Please rethink and please back up. Don't get any more involved. You're already emotionally attached and you need to detach. All right. Virgo. Virgo. A lot of family things are on your mind. A lot of children are on your mind. A lot of safety issues are on your mind. There's also a lot of stress that you've been dealing with and not sure how to vent it out. I also feel like Virgos are getting tired of the same thing over and over again. And you're just wanting to make a, a different path. For some of you Virgos, you're missing somebody terribly. It's like you may communicate with this person, you may talk to them here and there, but the truth is you're missing that intimacy that you used to have with this person. You're missing that connection. 
For some of you, it's like, you know, I do have a best friend or I am close to a relative and there's somebody that I can talk to. But at the same time, it's like you're really missing that drive of someone. There's somebody who really encouraged you or somebody who really made your day or somebody that you used to really look forward to talking to. Whoever that is, get back in touch with them. I'm sure they'd be more than happy and just as happy as you to be reconnected again. I also feel like Virgos are uh, about to go spend just a few days somewhere, like spending some time away from home, just getting a break, needing some quiet time. Um, some of you Virgos need to be careful of drinking or you need to be careful of overdoing something. It feels like sugar levels are just going to the roof. Um, a message for today in reference to being Thursday for a lot of you, being inconsistent, not being very clear or direct with your words, not beating, don't beat around the bush with somebody. You're going to have to be more direct. I know you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings, but you're going to have to be more direct with them so that they don't misunderstand. You also don't want to mislead someone, okay? For some of you, you're either dealing with somebody who's dealing with a double life or you're trying to have a double life. Like you're trying to be with somebody who's already married or somebody who's married is trying to be with you. Whatever that situation is, you know this isn't healthy. You're waiting for them to choose you over the other person. That somebody's coming up with a whole bunch of excuses on why they can't or why they can't leave right now or they're blaming the children or they're blaming their partners or they're blaming finances or whatever. Don't believe that nonsense. Don't believe that because if somebody wants to be with you, they're going to, all right? I also feel like um, for some of you, for today, for the 14th, or 15th, I'm sorry, for Thursday, for some of you, it's like you're counting your money. You can't wait till that payday comes. It's like a lot of you are waiting to pay off some type of debt. Some of you are waiting to make a purchase of something. For some of you, I feel like you're you're lending money out to somebody that you shouldn't be lending it to because somebody doesn't doesn't pay you back. They keep saying they're going to, and then they need 20 more or 30 more. So whoever you're dealing with or whoever's not doing what they're supposed to, please do not continue to enable them because you're not helping them. Um, for some of you, if you're waiting for that phone call, you're waiting for somebody to reconnect with you, know that it's going to happen. You've been on this person's mind very heavy, but I feel like they're dealing with a lot of things on the home front as well. So once they get their home front situation taken care of, then they're going to reach out to you. So I hope these messages help. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. And I'm sorry that I missed the daily for Wednesday. Um, but I did come on live and do some free questions to try to help out. I'm sorry I missed Libra on Tuesday. I did not intentionally do that. I'm a Libra myself. I love the messages. So with that being said, I will see you guys um, this weekend. Don't forget Saturday night is Zoom. Probably around 8 o'clock, 9 at the latest. And we're going to Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. And then also... Um, again, I'm posting this daily up now for Thursday so you can see it ahead of time. And then hopefully I'll catch you Friday live to do the daily. All right, I'm back to work.